Welcome back to part two of me doing a full face of viral makeup hacks. Now, of course, you missed part one. You need to go back. All right, because you missed everything all the way up to the powder. Babe, skin is skinning. I'm not even mad at it right now. We are moving on. There isn't really a hack for powder, bronzer, and blush that I've seen anyway that's gone viral. So I'm going to just do that normally. All right, now that that's done, let's go in with the next hack. An eyelash curler to use as a guide to your crease and for your wing liner. I don't know why I'm scared because everybody seems to love it, but I'm just going to go for it with a brown transition shade. We're just going to blend her. Okay. I feel like if you had hooded eyes and not as much eye space as me, that this could actually be a great hack for you. But because I've got such big eyelids, I can really just direct where I need the shadow to go. I don't think it's a bad hack, though. I actually think it's quite comfortable, and there's something really soothing and comfortable about it. Like, I don't know why. A little bit of blending later, and that does look quite nice. Right, let's try the wing version. We're going to do like a dark... Oh, shit. Brown shadow. Okay. Ooh. It's not terrible, but it's also not great. Do you know what I mean? I found it a little bit tricky to get that perfect shape, and you will end up with a really big wing. And, and it, clearly, you won't get an even wing on each side, because this side was a lot worse than that one. About 10 minutes and a lot of finessing later, I feel like I've gotten them to be even. It's not terrible, but not my favorite hack. Our laminating tools like this one is the best hack I've ever seen because I had to used to go and get it like professionally done. And now there's just something in a literal bottle and tube that will do it for me in 20 seconds. In my opinion, one of the best design makeup products that I've ever tried. I love these. I'm using the Amy Jean one right now. It's new at Sephora. It's one of my new favorites. Just like the double-ended brush tool makes it so easy to get that perfect like in salon look every time. Total slay. Oh, I love these. Okay, last half of the day, oval lips. Like, what the heck? It's giving very much the Red Queen. It's giving very much plump. And you just fill in to where your natural lip starts. Like, it's that easy. I actually really like this lip pack. I think it's great to not overdraw the lips too much. And it also gives you just that very plumpy look. I'm going to add a little bit of the pink blush in the center that we use on the cheeks just to tie it all together. And here we are. Um, are we obsessed? I'm kind of obsessed. Not so much with the wings. I would, if I could change anything, I'd change the wings. But everything else, kind of like a total sleigh, right? What do you think? Would you try any of these? Let me know in the comments what your favorite hack was. And of course, don't forget to follow my Instagram. Click the little icon in my bio and it'll take you right there so you don't miss out on any giveaways that I do on my IG. Love you all. Bye.